What is up YouTube tool tubers of the world? My name is Brad. Welcome to the workbench and today we're going to take this piece of oak root ball I found on the side of the road and turn it into something you would be proud to have in your house. I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. So I had started turning this and I plan on it just being a wood vessel but it just was hollow too much inside so I put an Instagram post and let you guys that follow my Instagram pick the color. And so that's where we're gonna start this project out at. First, we need to mix up some of these colors into the Incredible Solutions Pourable Plastic Casting Resin. For those of you that don't know, this is a casting resin. This is not the same as tabletop resin, which is the typical resin you would buy. This is meant for deep, thick pours, and it does take a little bit longer to cure. But Incredible Solutions was nice enough to send this over for me to try out and let you guys also know how it turns. They were also cool enough to provide a 10% discount code to anybody that wants to buy some of their resin. It's only good for a few months, but we'll get more into that later on in the video, or you can check the description below. First, we need to start adding in some colors. Now, you saw my two secondary colors, we'll call it. I mixed in separate smaller cups, and my main color, the one that was picked out on Instagram, was mixed in the big mixing bowl. Now, don't look at my feet here, <laughs> but uh, we're going to start pouring them in and just kind of alternating. Put the yellow on top to kind of get a flame effect going is, is what my idea was. And then I just jabbed a stick down in there to get some swirls going. Now, I left it in the pressure pot for about three days before I pulled it out because I had other projects that I was working on anyways. And two to three days seems to be about the cure time I found for this resin. And let's get right on into turning and shaping this bad boy. Now, I do want to let you guys know that are here for the wood turning, I have a second channel I just started called Rated R Wood Turning that's going to have these same projects, just a whole lot more detail of what went into them. Here on Brad's workbench, we're going to focus mainly on the tools used and how they performed during the project. I'm hoping that this will help people starting out kind of get an idea of what's good and what's not. And hopefully we'll get a lot more products that we can keep trying to test out and compare. And as you're watching me get pelted on the chest by these lovely ribbons of resin, say that three times fast, the big star of this show has to be the casting resin used. This pourable plastic resin is just literally the best I have ever turned with. You can see how smooth the, the cuts are coming out using carbide, and you can see how it gets everywhere. Yes, there's a toolbox underneath there. Now, if you happen to watch my resin ply video where I turned tabletop resin, you'll already notice the big difference there is between casting resin and tabletop resin. Finding a good casting resin is critical in success in turning this stuff. Now, as you can see, a problem I ran into, sparks are not supposed to come off a wooden resin bowl. That just doesn't happen. What I ended up finding was there was a rock that I epoxied in. It was down in one of the caverns that I couldn't even get to at the time of pouring it. So my solution was to take a Dremel with a diamond burr and I ground that rock out and filled it with black Starbond. Starbond CA glue, super glue, is amazing for any type of woodworking you're doing. I did send them a message and told them I would be mentioning their product in this video, so they also gave a 10% discount code that can be found in the description below. And now with that brand, we are done shaping the outside. Time to start hollowing it out. I like to start off with the drill bit because that very center of the bowl is very slow moving wood. It's always kind of a pain. So I really find it best just to drill it out, be done with it. You ain't got to worry about it anymore. Now I started out my hollowing using the half inch hurricane bowl gouge. And I find this thing is just perfect for getting rid of material quickly. It doesn't leave the best cut on resin, but for just hollowing out, hogging out material to get it out of the way, it did a fantastic job. And then once I got deeper down into my bowl, I started back with the carbide. It's a whole lot easier to control. You don't have to think about angles as much. And when you're deeper down in that bowl, the less you got to worry about, the better. Now at this point, I'm just about done with my hollowing. So I stop and fill any little pinholes that may be on the inside with the black star bond. But what did I find? Another rock on the inside and in a different location of the one that was on the outside. So this is a second rock in this damn bowl. Anyways, I fill my panels I need to. I tried to put CA glue on the rock. Didn't work, of course. And I start my little final scrapes to level off the CA glue and also try to get rid of any tool marks. And unfortunately, this was the best shot I got 
the entire end of the turning. <laughs> I guess I was concentrating too hard, didn't think about the camera, but it is kind of cool. You can see what I see through my face mask. But don't worry, nothing real exciting happened anyways. Now we're gonna fast forward through the sanding. Nobody likes to watch sanding. And I'm gonna let Brad from the past talk about how this project went. All right guys, the bowl is finally complete and I'm super excited to show this to you guys. I didn't make you sit through all the sanding, the finishing. I just put a lacquer finish on it and kind of sanded it up to like 400 after the lacquer finished to kind of buff up the lacquer a little bit. And I just think it looks great. I love every single thing about this bowl. I love all the swirls and I'm telling you, what you see on camera is nothing compared to looking at this thing in real life. I even like the rock in there. And yes, I left that rock in there. Nobody's gonna know what it is. There's so much going on with this bowl. You'll never even notice it. I hope to get to do more projects like this. You know, I can't do every single project with resin and wood because I mean, resin is expensive, let's get real. But that's also why I'm happy to remind you guys that if you're interested in doing something like this, I highly recommend the one and a half gallon kit. You can find it on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. And don't forget to use the promo code BRAD10. Get you 10% off. Anyways, it's getting hot. I got to get the air conditioner back on. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button down there. We'll holler at you next time. Peace!